In question 1, we have to express each number as a product of its prime factors. So to do that, we will build a factor tree for each number. So let's start with the first number, which is 140. So we see that 140 is even. So let's take out a factor of 2. So we take out a factor of 2 and that leaves us with 70. And we see that 70 is even again. So we take out a factor of 2 again. And now that leaves us with 35. Now 35 is not even. It's also not a multiple of 3 but it is a multiple of 5. So taking out 5, we are left with only 7, which is prime. So now the prime factorization process of 140 is complete. So 140 can be prime factorized as 2 into 2 into, so 2 into 2 into 5 into 7, or I can write this as 2 square into 5 into 7. So this is how 140 can be written as the product of its prime factors or this is how 140 can be prime factorized. So that completes part 1. Now let's do the prime factorization of part 2, the number 156. So we write 156 and let's start the prime factorization process. So 156 is even. So let's take out a factor of 2. Now divide 156 by 2 and you're left with 78. Now 78 is again even. So let's take out a factor of 2 again and that leaves us with 39. Now 39 is not a factor of, uh, is not divisible by 2, but it is a multiple of 3. So let's take out 3. And if we take out 3, then the remaining part will be 13, which is prime. So at this stage, the prime factorization process is completed. And this means that 156 has the prime factors 2, 2, 3 and 13. So 156 can be written in prime factorized form as 2 square into 3 into 13. So that completes part 2. Now let's do part 3 which is the number 3825. So we start building our factor tree with 3825. Now this number is not even, but if we add its digits 3 plus 8 plus 2 plus 5, this sum is 18. And since 18 is a multiple of 9, we see that 3825, this number will be a multiple of 9 as well. And so we can take out a factor of 3 twice. So if we take out a factor of 3, first we get, we, we will be left with 1, 2, 7, 5. And now if we take out a factor of 3 again, and if we divide 1, 2, 7, 5 by 3, we will be left with 425. Now 425 is not a multiple of 3 because 5, 4 plus 2 plus 5 is 11, which is not a multiple of 3. So 425 is not a multiple of 3, but we see that 425 is a multiple of 5 because its last digit is 5. So if you take out a factor of 5, what do we get? We will get the remaining part as 85. So we get 85 and now 85 is still a multiple of 5. So let's take out another factor of another factor of 5. And if we do that, we will be left with the remaining part as 17. Now 17 is prime. So the prime factorization process completes at this stage, which means that the Prime factors of 3, 8, 2, 5 are 3, 3, 5, 5 and 17. So I can write 3, 8, 2, 5 in prime factorized form as 3 square 
इंटू फाइव स्क्वायर इंटू सेवनटीन सो दैट कंप्लीट्स द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ पार्ट थ्री द नंबर थ्री एट टू फाइव नाउ लेट्स डू द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ द नंबर इन पार्ट फोर विच इज फाइव थाउजेंड एंड फाइव सो वी राइट फाइव थाउजेंड एंड फाइव and let's start the prime factorization process now so this number is not even it's also not a multiple of 3 because if you take the sum of its digits the sum of its digits will be 10 which is not a multiple of 3 so this number is neither even nor a multiple of 3 but it is a multiple of 5 because its last digit is 5 so let's take out a factor of 5 from this number and if we divide 5005 by 5 we will be left with 1001 now 1001 is not a multiple of 2 and 3 of course it's also not a multiple of 5 because the last digit is neither 0 nor 5 so 1001 is not a multiple of 2 3 and 5 but it is a multiple of Seven, because if you divide one thousand and one by seven, you will get one forty-three. So let's take out a factor of seven, and that leaves us with one forty-three. Now one forty-three is not a multiple of two, three, five, or seven, but it is a multiple of eleven. because if i divide 143 by 11 i will get 13 so let's take out a factor of 11 from 143 and then the remaining part will be 13 and 13 is itself prime so at this stage the prime factorization process of 5005 gets completed which means that the prime factors of 5005 are 5 7 11 and 13 so i can write the prime factorized form of 5005 as 5 into 7 into 11 into 13 and that completes part 4 now let's do the prime factorization of the number in part 5 which is 7429 so let's write 7 4 Two nine and start the prime factorization process. Now seven four two nine is not even, so it's not divisible by two. It's not divisible by three because the sum of its digits is seven plus four plus two plus nine, which is twenty two, which is not a multiple of three. So seven four two nine is not divisible by three. It's also not divisible by five because its last digit is nine, which is neither zero nor five. Seven four two nine is also not divisible by seven, and you can check that if you divide this number by seven, you won't get a remainder of zero. Seven four two nine is also not divisible by eleven because if I find the alternating sum seven minus four plus two minus nine. this is not equal to 0 so 7429 is not divisible by 11 either and it's also not divisible by 13 because if you divide this number by 13 you won't get a remainder of 0 so 7429 is not divisible by these first few prime numbers 2 3 5 7 11 and 13 it's divisible by none of these prime numbers but we can check that 7429 is perfectly divisible by the next prime number which is 17 so we can take out a factor of 17 and that will leave the part 437 so if you divide 7429 by 17 you will get 437 now 437 itself won't be divisible by any of these prime numbers in this list on the left and we can check that 437 is also not divisible by 17 but it is perfectly divisible by the next prime number which is 
19. So if you divide 437 by 19, you will get 23. So let's take out the prime factor of 19 and because the remaining part is 23 which is itself a prime number at this stage the prime factorization process of 7429 gets completed which means that the prime factors of 7429 are 17, 19 and 23. So the prime factorized form of 7429 is 17 into 19 into 23. So with that, our solution to question one is completed. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.